Endwalker continues. These quests are going to be wild if we're, since we're only at 82. Alpha, no, tell me the secrets. In spite of the obstacles we faced, our plans proceed apace. Just a little further, and we will reach the capital itself. Still, we mustn't get ahead of ourselves. As soon as the camp has been made fit for purpose, we must discuss course of action with Lucia. Do you mind asking Yastola and Graha to join us in the building to the northeast of the camp? Alice and I will meet you there. Oh, this is a whole zone, too. Where, what are the fates like? There are no fates that spawn here. Yeah, there's there's one. 82. No, I was looking for the other fates that spawn in the other areas, because that tells me how large this area is going to be. And if we circle back later. That, I'm going to assume, is not MSQ locked, actually. You could probably just fly there. I guess I'll make my way over once my head is cleared. They've been feeling out of sorts since we arrived. The air is thick with the palpable aura of malevolence. This monstrous tower on the horizon, jagged, hideous, unholy. Even at this distance, its presence is overwhelming. Much like the sensation I felt in the Tower of Zot, only more ter far more terrifying. Ether flows unceasingly towards it, converging with a swirling mass of unfathomable power. For a blessing, the constant chill in the air is helping me anchor my senses to here and now. Tell the others to be with you in just a few moments. Around 484 to 85, maybe. I mean, this is me guessing. This is not me fishing. Once again, not me fishing for information. This is me laying out my projections on how this is going to go. You will be pleased to know most of the temperate have been quartered inside the nearby buildings and are receiving treatment as we speak. I do, however, feel no small amount of guilt for commandeering civilian homes. The occupants may be long gone, but everything exactly as they left it. During the length of time that has clearly passed, since one would expect them to find the ransacked strings, there are no signs of anything having been stolen. It is possible that everyone fled the site of the first side of trouble. Though it seems to me they left far too many useful possessions behind, I, although there is no conclusive evidence, strongly suspect they were tempered. Sorry, I was merely thinking aloud. You mentioned a meeting. Take my way, make my way there. The soundtrack is great, though. Like, it's very, it's complementing this backdrop very well. That is an enigma, but I hear Yokotaro is an enigma. More for me, uh, forming others than our meeting. Everyone is here, we will begin. Doesn't help that the sun, the sun is about to be, like, in my eyes in about an hour anyways, so it'll be a good time to go to lunch. Our present situation is as follows. Efforts to aid the people of Garlemald have begun in earnest. Moreover, having entered into the capital, the Imperial Palace is within our reach. But before we proceed further, we must learn what has befallen this city, for therein lies the key to understanding and combating the Telophoroi's designs. I have a suggestion, if I may. Several of the Imperial soldiers we captured on the Magna Glacias are members of the Popularis and acquaintances of mine. Once we have cured them of their tempering, they should be able to give a reliable account of the events leading to the capital's downfall. Move. Yes, yeah, smart move. A promising idea. I will assist the healers and their ministrations. Of course, I will require a porxy of my own, assuming you can spare one. Would you like a hand? Orksy. No, no, I am sure we will manage. Better that you take my place in the field. The noxious ether of this place disagrees with me, and as I shall need to draw on my own for the treatment, it will be prudent for me to remain within the camp. So I wonder what she sees. Like, I wonder if this is just like trying to see through fog. This talk of curing the tempered is all well and good, but I reckon the cold is a more pressing concern. All the houses round here are fitted with cerulean eaters that could keep us warm and toasty. Problem is, the machines seem to have given up the ghost, and if we keep sitting around, freezing our asses off, <laughs> we'll be next. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My smiths reckon with the right parts, they can have them working again, but it won't be easy. Understood. The machinists will assist them in the repairs. The rest of us should either stand watch or survey the area. 
We've made our presence known to the Tilothroi. They will be searching for us, if they have not already ascertained our position. That we have seen no sign of them since the battle suggests they have yet to do so. However, I suspect they may be biding their time. I, that is, yeah, I would assume so, yeah. Relevant conclusion to or make. Perhaps we are beneath their notice. They have better things to deal with, so to In speak. Event, we'll find no answers standing around here. Uriange, Estinian, and myself have visited Garlemald recently, so we'll lead the reconnaissance efforts. Perhaps bolstered by a few Bosnian and Dalmaskian scouts from my previous excursion for good measure. He's so happy. <laughs> sneak, sneak, sneak Don't with friends. About us Alamegans. We have experienced scouts of our own. Well, now. This is turning out to be a rather sizable team. With such numbers, we should be able to cover a wide area with relative ease, including that surrounding the Imperial Palace. How about you, Graha? I have a feeling we'll find a use or two for that vanishing spell of yours. <laughs> Twould be my honor to be of service, though I doubt that you of all people need rely on my tricks. Old Graha voice. Us with guard duty. As a matter of fact, I have something else in mind for the two of you and Alphano. <laughs> what? I don't know why that was funny to me. What, what, it, she couldn't She couldn't just say three of you. It was the two of you <laughs> and Alphano. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny to me. There's just something about that that got me. Between here and the center of the capital lies the Eblen Rhyme. I would have you search the area for survivors. Your keen sense of direction, honed in your extensive travels, should prove useful in navigating the ice fields. <laughs> Not an understatement. <laughs> the SAS options, holy crap. I have faith that you will, and look forward to greeting you on your safe return. You all have your duties. Let us make haste. May the Fury bless and keep you. God's begin if this cold will... <laughs> If it's the cold with this cold with Totter is closing, I dared not think how we fare without them. I must remember to thank her when we next meet. It makes me realize too that while the people of Garlemald have spent their whole lives in conditions like these, even they'd be hard pressed to survive away from the warmth of their homes. If there's any survivors, we must find them in quickly. What ho, chums? Been giving, <laughs> given something to do, have you? As it happens, I too have been ordered to make myself useful. <laughs> Sounds like a rather tall order. Since you asked, we were to scout the even rhyme for survivors. Wander on ice fields on the off chance that you'll find somebody. Take forever to finish that with the benefit of my expertise, or more specifically, my telescope. Come, friends, and there's a spot to begin our search. Ah, yes. Work smarter, not harder. That's the one. May as well humor him. Telescope ain't he? Telescope's gonna have the lens covered. I'm calling it now. Dude's gonna have the lens covered. Like, he didn't take the cover off. Oh, that'd be amazing. That's a, this is a big boy. Oh, Ceruleum Sprite. That's interesting. I haven't seen a moth yet. I haven't seen a Wormora yet, this expansion. Very, very sad. I have not seen moth memes. A spy with my little telescope. A massive sheep thing? Or maybe it's a cow. Not what we're after either. Either way. <laughs> Is that an ether current? Oh no, just a wind sprite. <laughs> on the other hand, it's all snow, 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 but oh, what do I see over there on the over on that yonder hillock? I'm mistaking it. That's a girl. Driver, show me. 
there behind the tree. Looks like she's running away from something. Though surely not us. She wouldn't even know we were here unless we ha she had a telescope like mine. All I can tell is that she's wearing a pale green dress. A rather fetching. <laughs> that. Oh, this man. We long gone by the time we get anywhere near. We should be able to follow her footprints. We'll let Lucy know what you're, where you're heading. Take these warming tinctures with you. Poor grandma she chilled to the bone, if not on the verge of freezing to death. Actually, very thoughtful. Thank you. Won't you need some for yourself? No, no, I'll be fine. As man of chivalry, my honor demands I do no less. Unless we forget the very reason we're here is to protect those in need. Not go in God's speed. Nah, mom, we have Hildebrand at home. <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> God. 83. So this might actually be... We might actually stick here for a hot minute, actually. We might deal with most of this map here and now. At east. That's a thing. It's massive tentacles and roots. What? <laughs> Previously, in the uh, towards the building. We're getting closer. I'm sure of it. I thought she'd gone inside the building, but the door doesn't look to have been open in some time. She might still be nearby, so we keep looking around here. Then again, it's also possible she ran right past this plate. Would you mind searching up ahead? I mean, right over there in, in, in full view of where you're at. That one. Getting mad Modern Warfare 2 Spec Ops vibe from that pipeline, actually. Mad Modern Warfare 2 vibes. Green dress uh, anxiously surveys her surroundings. When you call to her from a distance, it might attract wild beasts to your location. It'd be safer to get closer first, but you do so without drawing her attention. Sneak 2.0. Electric Boogaloo. From a safe distance, will end in failure if you're unnoticed. Cover such as rocks to approach without being seen. Jack will also end in failure if you fall too far behind. No location. Okay, makes sense. What is that thing? We've gotten close enough to them yet. I like that he actually shows. I wonder if that was there on launch, actually. It shows you what direction they're looking. That fucking ice sprite. Urgh. That ice sprite totally ratted me out. Get out of here. Trying not to have it aggro me. Oh, I got, oh, wait, it was... No, it doesn't have the red mark. I'm used to every mob aggroing me, to be fair. Yeah, so it's, it's passive. Ice sprites the beta tanks. Look, oh, look, all I'm saying, Stone Vigil, those ice sprites hit like trucks. Like, they're actually problematic. Come on.
trying to get behind those trees. Not a full 180, but she is... 160 degrees, something like that. They move so weird. It's an overgrown rose. That that is a horticulture nightmare. Yeah, it might just be sight based. Like if she sees me. But if I get aggroed. <laughs> Tiny Emmett Silk comes up from behind. Also, she'd be able to see our footprints. Oh, that's getting close. I see you there. Oh, this sucks to be in. I am flirting on the edge of that range. Oh, that was dirty. I figured they were going to do that. Uh, and Pipeline makes me think of a boss pop up, right? Hip twerk fund? No. What? <laughs> there is no twerk fund. What's happening? I'm actually going to fall behind. Oh, hey, now I can talk to you. <laughs> He's still in one piece. Who are you? Stay back. The house is packed with explosives. Take another step and I'll blow this place sky high. Please, we just want to talk, says Alpha No and Alice. They come up from behind. Alpha is my sister Alice and it's her good friend Kip. We have no intention of hurting or taking anything from anyone else. I give you my word. We and our comrades have come to provide aid to the people of Garlemald. Hey, you savage is no response for all this. You did this to us. We didn't, I promise you. One of the other reasons we came was to find out what happened here, in fact. So far, are the ones to blame. They're the ones that laid waste to Garlemald and won't stop until they've destroyed the entire world. Enemy of our enemy. On our way, we encountered pale soldiers who had been made their thralls. Those poor souls are now in our care, and we're striving to cure them of their affliction. You're the first person we've met who wasn't already enslaved. How are you able to escape the Swarfroy's influence? Are there others like you? Sorry, I don't mean to overwhelm you. Just let's start with introductions. Can you tell me your name? My name is Lucina. As far as I've managed to say, sane. I asked myself the same question ever since that night and the roar, that terrible roar, and the screams. I was screaming too. I think I can't remember. Came a silence, everything was still. It was like waking up from a nightmare. I thought that maybe the fighting had stopped, so I stepped outside. This is not a constant effect. Your hells are real. I saw one that day. I ran past friends, people know all my life. Eyes vacant, dead, staring at the sky. Echo? Others were mad and violent. I saw them struggle with soldiers. Didn't stay to watch. I fled as far as my legs would take me. You have a family here. Is this their home? This is... Uh, this is Victor Spoils, a mansion for retired soldiers, or it was. 
I mean, my, me and a few others are borrowing it. As for explosives, I was making that up. It was a bluff, but a convincing one. Wanted to keep everyone else safe, and I didn't know uh, who you were. Truth is, our supplies are running low. You said you were here to help. Can you? Or sort of assistance we can provide, we will. Better tell the others first, though. Wait here. Everybody. Athena says you uh, you can be trusted, but these are desperate times to be fools for let to let foreign troops walk into our home. Having said that, we're to provide us with the means of he, uh, heating the place as a sign of goodwill. Perhaps we could take you at your word. If that's too much to ask, then leave us be. And my firewood gathering skills to you, so you provide the spark with a little magic, I'll say. Fire burning in no time. Uh, maybe we build on the gazebo. The what? Oh, you mean the tower? Yes, do as you will. Or the bower. Interesting little like world building tidbit of different terms for same thing. Hmm. She is sus among us. Sorry, I was still finding it hard to come to terms that all that's happened. Now that you're here, though, I'm hoping things might change for the better. I've worked quite a sweat from all that running about, so I'll leave based around the fire for others. As you can tell, they're in far worse state than me. We were planning to look for somewhere warmer with more food, but they're not going anywhere until we nurse them back to health, which I don't know how to do. Is there anything you do to help them? I thought, that was a, I thought that was a 500 kg from, from Hell Divers. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Give me a second. Repeat their frostbite and their wounds uh, will take time for the fire to do its work. That would be a good occasion to make use of Malayne's tinctures. You can warn the body with the inside out. Would you make sure everyone gets one? I like the radio. We got them all radio. Kind of neat. Hi. Under kg in pounds. <laughs> Another cutscene. Oh, you didn't have to. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, is there anything you want from me? Anything I can provide? Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, I hadn't gotten that one yet. Hadn't gotten the dodo either. Dust bunny goes hard, actually. Thank you. Uh, no seeing to subside, though, I suspect when the fire dies, we return with a vengeance. Warming tincture, I've never heard of such a thing, no harm in trying, but tell me, have you heard aught of the city? Uh, though calling it seems absurd after what's happened, nothing but ruins now. A few buildings still standing offer no more than meager protection from wind and snow, food, production, water purification. I'd take that sustained us. It's come to a grinding halt. What machina remains still uh, remains operational, cannot be run for lack of ceruleum, of course. Cerulea ingens is full of the stuff. All that good it does us. No one know, here knows the first thing about extraction or refinement. Sad radio, I love it. Well, yes, never better. What sleet libation is this? Is this poison by any chance? It was a joke. <laughs> if I laughed as I may not weep, said the uh, so said the poet. Last, my fears would freeze on my cheek ere they fell. We are, uh, we are the blessed damned to bear witness to the fall of the great empire while our brethren lie dead, or live as puppets of flesh. First came the war, then came the roar. When morning came, Garlemald was no more. The cacophony of gunfire, explosions, and screams was our beloved capital raised to the ground. From the rubble rose to shelved remnants. Their lavishry, lavish finery caked in ash as they shuffled mindlessly towards the palace, each bearing a fragment of stone or metal and offering perhaps to the architect of our destruction a hopeful future for Eid. The reason with the deranged, only to be beaten for their kindness. I knew how to plead with the horde. I fled with my, uh, with my health. 
not, my conscience is preserved. I'll wait for my fellow cowards for our final judgment. Yeah, that was in fact words. <laughs> Tincture may as well drink it, I suppose. Warming tinctures do not have any despite the weather. I don't know. That's interesting. I don't know about the state of alchemy in Garlemald. This, it's a radio. You don't have them where you came from, I take it. Use them to listen to messages sent by others, even over great distances. There are often different types. This model is by far the most popular, made with quality components, crafted with the finest ore, sourced from Locus Amanus, that is. Not all that useful since the capital fell into ruin. The people at the broadcasting station must have either fled, ended up like all the others, or end up like all the others because what I've been hearing is the same music been playing over and over again. Interesting. Home beyond the horizon, owed to the brave men and women sent to reclaim our ancestral homeland of Locus Amanus. May have founded the Empire and frozen waste, but we always hope to take back what was once ours. Psalm reminder that we must suffer great hardship. Better days will surely come. This was intentional. But everything I believe, the Emperor of our rest yet lives. And then he speaks to us through our radios. It was a cunning strategy, faking his murder. He must have foreseen this catastrophe and chose to conceal himself. And that he may be the one to make this triumphant return. He, there's the bargaining. There, there's the grief. I'm sure, the Emperor of our rest would not be defeated so easily. Way too close sometimes. Yeah, it's 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 there. What's that? Take potion. Drink, drink. Green Kool Aid. Or not green Kool. Green. Yes, yes, Kip. That's blue. We gave the others. Thank you. I'll save it for later. I have a few things to ask you. Are you part of the group that stays in Laterum? I saw Legatus Regilla's troops heading towards the Magna... I always want to say Glacius, but it's not. Magna Glacius. It's so strange. It's, it's, it's throwing me off. A few days ago, are they the ones that you encountered? Glacier Freeze Gatorade, exactly. Can't broken glass, you call it. And Regilla and her men are all, are all there now. How did you reach the Magna Glacius? Did you cross the mountains on foot? I'm aware it's not pronounced that way. My brain will not pronounce it the way it's actually supposed to be pronounced. My brain just refuses. Airships, then there might be a way to. Yeah, is everyone okay? In the matter. What's inside you say? You must be imagining things. Everyone's out here. Perhaps baby, uh, baby, almost he has found its way into the house. First time. Without the soldiers to scare them off, wild animals have been roaming closer to the settlements. Some have been known to attack people too. Just an idea. If you and yours are strong enough to feed a legatus, then surely if you be, shouldn't pose a threat. Do you mind to continue helping us? Perhaps you could head to the other side of the lake. There's a small group of tappers living there. People whose job was to extract ceruleum. They still do, from what we can tell. I are trying to ask you to share some of the fuel with us, but they're not willing to give it away. They want food in exchange, lots of food, and that's something we don't have. We can't get on our own. Top of that, even reach it in, we have to make our way past all those creatures. If you're willing to go in our place, we'll need enough ceruleum to last until the others are strong enough to travel to their, uh, to your camp. The offer still stands, that is. Don't expect to give up your own supplies. There might be another way to pay the tappers. so much. Reach tappers and you'll have to cross the lake. This ice is thick enough to support a person's weight, but if you'd rather not take the risk, you need to take the long way around. Finding the entrance can be a bit tricky too, so it's easier to look for someone standing guard outside. I decide to head there. Please be careful. I mean, I can use the mount. I mean, why not? I don't think it has fit. Nah, I can't actually hop on there, Rip.
Spaghetti! Okay, there, so it's, yeah, Baby Yeti. Glacias, right, oh, I keep saying Glacias, and I know it's not how it's pronounced. It throws me off. Don't know if I'm borrowing from French or what I'm borrowing from to get Glacias. Yeah, this is pretty uniform, actually. Who goes there? How'd you find us? What do you assume I stand like a sore thumb? Home with the pure bloods over <laughs> the pure bloods over at Victor's Boys at given away location. Never would have found us. Stuck up parcels. They come waltzing in here, demanding Sterling with nothing off in return. Looks like the boots on the other way now. That the capital's gone to shite. He's ordered to sending you to negotiate. I know your game sells sword. You think they? We'll give an intimidation. They've got another thing coming. Okay. I mean, you chose to attack, so I mean... You can flick them we know it from Emmett. I mean, at the end of the day, there's still people. <laughs> Just killed your guards. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> there you are. Just after you left, Sina asked me to go and catch up with you in case you need a hand. Someone must let this slip. I have a little experience in transporting barrels of ceruleum. Napper's done well then after you. Who are you? What happened to the guards? Well, you see, they attacked me. <laughs> they were coming right for us, self-defense. Erosians and rebels here to save the people of Garlemald. Doesn't make any gods damn sense. Why in the hells would you pass uh would you pass up this chance to put those Imperial bastards to the sword? We guess none of you are Garlean. You were brought here from other lands. Garabanya, Yangsha, Baja, Damascus, name a few. Some dragged here against our will, others fed box about a better life, all to put to work extracting ceruleum. All given the esteemed title of On, placing us firmly at the bottom rung of the ladder. The old hierarchy means nothing new. In the new Garlemald, says we, the only thing that's escaped more or less than scathed is the Cerulea Ingens. So sustaining us even with our paymasters out of the picture. Here are your experts in drawing us Cerulean from the bottom of the lake. How do you do it? Uh, how can you do that if it's frozen over? Wouldn't you like to know? Trade secrets, I'm afraid. At any rate, not as Cerulean is used for much these days with the city in ruins. Take enough uh, to power our heaters and save the surplus for later. You know, it helps save off the cold. It does sod all for our hunger unless we can trade it away. Think much sure to tell your contingent we have ceruleum by the bar barrelful. If they're interested, we'll exchange for whatever provisions they're willing to spare. Certainly ask, but if you're free to go now, why not carry on living here? Free to go? Go where? Exactly. Even if we manage to get back to our homelands, nothing less for us thanks to the Empire and the knowledge of our skills we've acquired working here we be practically useless outside of Garlemald. We're staying for a time being. As long as there's a need for ceruleum, we'll find a way to get by, even if Grandma, as we know, is gone for good. Gone for good. Because of what that ill uh, contingent does for the people of Garlem, all the Empire itself is already a thing of the past. For many, that would be a cause for celebration, while others, their whole way of life just turned upside down. All the atrocities committed in the Empire's name, perhaps it is for the best that they are consigned to history. For ordinary people, their lives, their stories, should they be forgotten too? I suppose there will be plenty of time to ponder that later. For now, see about getting some ceruleum. So you can ceruleum, have you? 
Those pure bloods up at Victor spoils. <laughs> we just had this conversation. Turn to the enemies for help. They must be more desperate than I thought. Then again, Lysina has got her little sister to think about. When they saw Lysina and three men. Possible she died from whatever's ailing her. If she needs treatment, I doubt. There'd be any way to get it around here. May have refused Lysina at first, thinking she'd come back with something to exchange. I can spare them a bottle's worth of ceruleum. Then a reward for introducing me to the rest of your contingents. Be sure to send them our way, you hear? This is Endwalker, yes. We're an Endwalker. Can't really make think why this, you know, would keep her little sister a secret from us, but we can ask that after we've delivered the ceruleum. Come on, let's hurry back. Her, her sister's going to be tempered, isn't she? Her sister's going to be tempered. I'm calling it. Because she made no mention. She said she fled. But made no mention of her sister and her escape. So she's trying to hide the point. Always be molding here. <laughs> yeah. They, like, share the same models like Kukulain from Void Arc. It's so strange to me. Was on controls the rest of the population through propaganda. Even if that 1% doesn't know the truth, they said propaganda. The citizens don't deserve what happened, but this didn't happen. It's a bit war with Gollum. Exactly. No, there's, there's nuance to it. Couldn't they just get... If these are Cerulean Sprites, could they just get... Cerulean from the Cerulean Sprites if they could if they could gank them? Is that a thing? This isn't right. It's too quiet. The radio's gone. The Alphano would still be treating them by the fire, but they're nowhere to be seen. I'll look inside the house. Research outside. They can't have gone far. Is Alphano going to be buried in the snow? Who actually just got shanked. <laughs> yeah, the radio's not gone anymore. Okay, so it's not going to be down there. just dissipate. I mean, they might have. More of a pace than a fuel, I guess. <laughs> Alphano just took him in the back alley. <laughs> God. They asked me, asked me to help carry supplies, then I followed them back here and they attacked me. Caught me off guard, forced me to defend myself. Uh, I fear they've heard rather worse than me. Can't fool us. We know, we know what you're on about. Vultures, that's what you are. Waiting for the wings to show weakness, and then you swoop. Here to help. What rot? All a ploy here to make us lower our guard. Let you in. Put ourselves at our mercy. Put us in chains. Steal our lands. Get your revenge. You're wrong. That's not what any of us want. Save the arguments for later. We've got bigger problems. The sun is now directly in my face. No! Got empty medicine bottles and a bed that was still warm. Lucina was hiding her sick sister inside the house. But now there's no sign of either of them. Where are they? Where did they go? Away from you and yours. If you think I'll tell you you're a fool, I'd never give up my people. Uh-huh. Trying to help them, you idiot. This is ill. The empty bottles prove it. So the medicines ran out and she put it in her pockets to make it easier to carry. To avoid uh, the sound of clinking glass. There are beasts everywhere. How could you let them go alone? Protect them from you. There it is. You invaded our homeland, tainted with the same source you used to slay our countrymen. A garland should sooner die than suffer an insult. Better than to flee, keep their purity intact, than be corrupted by your vile magics. We were waiting, waiting for a chance to free them since the moment you arrived.
getting us nowhere. Just leave them be. Leave them to rot. Yeah, the Santa sister will react when we find them. And then we must. Go on uh, without me, both of you. I need to first tend to my injuries and theirs. I'll join you in the search after. All right, be careful. It happens to be when you have a... <laughs> right? Do our best to find them quickly. Only one path out of here, so that's where we'll start. Hell of a drug, exactly. My lands rob us our pride now, I will not allow it. Breathe and live in a servitude and shame. Girls, the girls stay the same. <laughs> it's bright. Two sets, of fresh print, uh, two sets of fresh footprints on women, judging by the size. Definitely them. Come on. And from ground carbuncles. Mmm. Carbuncle. Mission found a lie. And that'd be, and that's. It's hard for people to adjust their worldview. It is. Even in real life, we see this. It's hard for people to adjust to change. And some will even embrace that lie, knowing it is a lie. It is ultimately up to them to decide. You present the information. If they still say no, we refute this. There's nothing you can do. Stops the frozen lake. they chose this route. It's not leaf footprints. Can't think of any other reason. Look at this place. It's crawling with beasts. I can only imagine how hard it must be for an ailing sister to cross the ice. Really do with Alphino's help. We can't afford to wait on them. Split up and look for clues. Your hate you. Should. Exactly. It's like a, it's like an inverse morble. It's so weird. They're so lucky the empty bottle did not alert one of these Tursus. So the alcohol thin coating of dirt indicates it's been here for some time, likely to have any connection with Lena or her sister. Interesting. So there's Oblins. Neat. Right, it also doesn't help that people of magic went after them. It doesn't help. Fear is a powerful thing. Saying this appears to be fresh, judging by the amount the victim may have been severely wounded. Leads southeastwards. What is that? It's gorilla. Oh, that's a hunt. Hey, we found Minerva. <laughs> So use a Shadow Dragons uh, model. Mm, to tofu bacon. I hear it's decent. I don't know. Two bodies are already cool. Oh. Wow. Yeah, they got, uh, they got bodied. That's rough. And that showcases that they were willing to go to the end rather than, than accept something new. Track changed. Oh, this would suck to run in. Your lungs would be hurting. <laughs> but 
by one swipe. Uh, they might have. Blood trail. We found one. They were attacked. Holding on to the hope. No. Safer to brave the wilds than trust in our magic. We should have. I should have. You couldn't have done anything. It would have only made it worse. We can't leave them like this. We have to take them home. Yeah. What if we're only making it worse? At least we tried. Maybe we don't belong here, but neither do they. Not out here in the wind and the cold. I heard the story about Varus's voice from beyond the grave. Of course, I didn't believe it, but Lacinia and her sister did. Perhaps there is something to the tale after all. I want to understand, so I'm going to borrow this for a while, if that's all right. You had every reason not to trust us. We came as trespassers, invaders. I like how everyone else is just gone now, though. But I pray that in time, we will be more than that to you. That we will find a way to help your loved ones. And see that no more children are left to freeze alone in the snow. Must have been something we uh, could have done, but what? Should we have never come here? Would this be a life we hadn't? Probably, but their quality of life wouldn't have changed. It would have been a problem later anyways. Did your best. A way forward. Already caused enough harm here. Let's return to camp before we cause any more trouble. Any of those inside, uh, as for those inside the house, we should send someone to take care of them. Someone who isn't us. All we can do for now is make our report to Lucia and do everything in our power. Prevent further tragedy. I think you're here no more come. I mean, yeah. yeah. There, there's a lot to unpack with that. There is, and that's why I'm, I'm liking Final Fantasy because it doesn't pull punches in a lot of, a lot of ways. It covers very heavy topics in very respectful manners a lot of the time. And makes you think. The novel told me they finished their preliminary search for survivors, but refrained from saying much more than that. Clearly, you're reluctant to provide details. May I ask for your account? Help someone who doesn't want to be helped. You don't. And that's the thing. You don't. You give them the tools that they can better themselves and educate themselves. But at the end of the day, if they don't want to, they don't want to. Thank you for your report. We shall inform the troops of these developments and instruct them to proceed with the utmost caution should they encounter any survivors. Allow me to go and speak with the ones at the Victor's Spoils. They may be more willing to listen to a fellow Garlean and accept our offer of assistance. I pray you are right. And though I am loath to burden you any further, should there be an appropriate occasion to speak of Lacinia and her sister, please do so. I am sorry to have put you through this. You couldn't, down. 
my distress is nothing compared to their suffering. So tell me, what else have we learned? As you may have already heard, we have succeeded in curing the members of the Popularis, Maxima identified. They have provided us with some intriguing insights into the current state of Garlemald. Mm -hmm. The assassination of Emperor Varus was the catalyst for the civil war. Nerva declared his claim to the throne, and his opponents refused to recognize it. Fighting broke out in the capital, where Nerva's third legion clashed with the first, who remained loyal to Varus even after his death. Of course, even Imperial warmongers would balk at the idea of turning their shining city into a battleground. Like burning down the wood to spite the wasps. Neither side would be so mad. Unless something or someone inflamed their animosity to such an extent that they could not help but act against their better judgment. It brings to mind events at the Gimlet Dark, does it not? The Emperor's sudden withdrawal from the front line, specifically. It does. Nerva and his father, Titus, Varus's then political rival, took advantage of rumors that Crown Prince Zenos had been possessed by a demon. Mm hmm. I'm glad they bring this up. Elidibus, what better way to disparage your enemies than with the truth or a close enough approximation? Indeed. But before their accusations could be substantiated, many of Titus's followers were silenced. Uh, while some were merely stripped of their status, others died under curious circumstances. One after another, suddenly and suspiciously. Again, Elidibus. Like as not, he had a hand in it. No evidence was found to implicate Varus, certainly. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, Titus, Nerva, and the Third Legion would have judged it a brazen attempt by the Emperor to rid himself of his political enemies. And then, in the midst of this growing turmoil, Varus Soskalvis is murdered. And Garlemald's own prodigal son, Gaius van Belsar, is named the murderer. Shortly thereafter, Nerva claims the right of succession, and in response, the First Legion claims the assassination was part of a coup d'etat orchestrated by Titus and Nerva. So no one is at fault, and everyone else is to blame. I should add that both parties received substantial financial backing, presumably to provide them with the means and encouragement to pursue a swift victory, and that these contributions came from the self-same benefactor. Mm -hmm. I'd heard House Brutus had been filling the Third Legion's coffers, but the first as well. It would seem so. Though the Popular is determined that the First Legion received funds from a variety of organizations, all had connections to House Brutus. Mm -hmm. So Fandaniel, in the guise of Arsahi, was playing both sides against each other the entire time. As an Arsene does. The information we gained from my friends does not end there. One night, shortly after fighting broke out, the capital was shaken by an immense tremor. From that point onward, they have no memories, no recollection of any events, including our clash on the Magna Glacius. But when asked about the Imperial Palace and its bizarre transformation, they somehow recall Emperor Varus giving them orders in their dreams. Interesting. Is Varus back as a primal? May the Tower of Babel stand as testament Babel. to the glory of Garlemald. This sounds awfully familiar. We have something to show you all. They have the radio. Varys spoke to them through this radio. Perhaps it was a recording, but if not, that would be inexplicable. We are of one mind, then. 
The ether that permeates the them. ore used in this device is almost identical to that of the talismans. I see it. While it is likely more by coincidence than design, these devices might also ward against a primal's influence. A picture it is beginning to form. If the tremor felt throughout Garlemald was a wave of ether emitted by a primal, then while those within range would have been tempered, those huddled around a radio desperate for news concerning the Civil War would have been spared. Interesting, actually. That's very coincidental. That's interesting. No wonder Licinia kept it close. My friends, I must speak with you. A young man was caught trying to steal our supplies. He is a soldier of the Iron Men, we think, but one who has not been made thrall. That bounces the sound, yeah. And I restrained him before blood was spilled. The stranger is outside if you wish to ask him questions. I think we do. Who do we have here? Garlians? Traitors to your homeland! Have you no shame? I am Lucia Junius, a temple knight of Ishgard. And you are? Julius Pier Norbanus, and that's all you invaders will get from me. We are not here to invade Garlemald, far from it. Like you, our allies in Eorzea and the Far East fight in defense of their lives and their loved ones even as we speak. But it is the people of Garlemald who have suffered most. This we know, and that is why we have come to offer you our aid, that we may unite against our common foe. Whether you believe me or not, those are the facts. Now, answer me this. Why would a proud soldier of the Empire be reduced to stealing? The situation must be dire indeed for you to go to such lengths. <laughs> yep, call him on him. Yep. If it is supplies you seek, we would gladly share ours, or turn a blind eye while you leave with your spoils. I will not negotiate. My commander will determine how to deal with you and yours. Uh -huh. If you wish to treat with him, I will take you, but no more than three. I don't much like the sound of that. But if we do accept his proposal, I suggest the two of us and... We, uh, we, we we're not going to bring a Garlean representative. and Alize to act as envoys. May I ask why? We have seen with our own eyes the hardships the Garleans face. How their futures and lives hang in the balance. It's not the warmest invitation, but it's an opportunity to prove our intentions true. Maybe not a chance to make things right, but a chance to make them better. I, I gotta play babysitter. Let's go. I can see that persuading you otherwise is a lost cause, but you will proceed with the utmost care. Fact. I actually didn't know she had a uh, gold streak in her hair. A couple of children and what? A cell sword? Is this an insult? Uh huh. Not in the least. You will find that they are more than qualified to speak on our behalf. There are many dangers on the road ahead. I will need that back. At least he didn't yank it from him. At least he took it respectfully.
to be received as an invited guest, so I urge you to observe proper social etiquette and conduct yourselves accordingly. Save your turn, takes precedence above all else. Remember this. Thank her in particular. Be worried sick if you were gone too long. May the fury watch over you and keep you. So I'll have you know that swords quiver at the thought of me wielding it. <laughs> exactly. Are you and the children ready to explain the route once we are outside your camp? If anyone attempts to follow us, we will be judged an act of hostility. We will not hesitate to break appropriate measures. Expect nothing unless you have our full cooperation. The only task of keeping watch over provisions uh, would not normally befit the sun, but these being unusual circumstances will let no man take that which is not by rights theirs. Homeboy's doing his best. I think we're going north or to reach him. That's far enough. Listen carefully. Went over the hill and then follow the road until we reached the liminal station four. And the leader, uh, want to see? I want you where I can see you. We do have names, you know. I'm Alice, and this is Alphno. Like this is Kip. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> no matter. Alphno and Alice say, "I'll watch them on the road ahead while we bring up the rear." He has heard of us. It's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough on that realization. He's gonna get so slammed. Lying about uh, there being many dangers. Sir, uh, you're to run, not saunter. Run towards the station if you can think about going for your weapon. The deal's off. Should any creatures bar their way if we go around them? Not falling behind. Or any reason to lose sight of Alpha now, I'll say we begin returning to starting point. Dash for the station. I'm waiting to see if it actually aggroed on me. The guy. No! No, not that! Sprite was just saying, What's up, bro? <laughs> Tiny human Selkie's key. <laughs> Oh, that's got to be really funny, actually. Like, like, why does this look like our emperor? What's happening? <laughs> Dog. Look at the possibilities. The internet's not ready for Femkip. I mean, my... 14 character is close. I want a Reaper dash, but I'm pretty sure that will fail the quest if I do that. Is it the first stop that is? Looks like your friends knew better than to follow us. Are these your headquarters? No, we're stopping here so I can check for pursuers. Since it appears you've kept your side of the bargain, we can carry on. I mean, not a, it's honestly very smart. That's that's the, how you would do that. Uh, uh, north of the station is Regio Demorum. Dom, Demorum, yeah. One of the main residential areas, or at least it was, afflicted roam the streets and packs. The terrorist shreds have given the chance to keep close and no wandering off understood. Go heading northeast, keep uh, to the left of the uh, railway. While the route itself is straightforward, getting past the hordes unseen is anything but. Keep your weapons at the ready. They would attack their own countrymen. Aye, they bear their own, but slaughter the rest without hesitation. Though we try to avoid detection, the chances of sneaking by are completely unnoticed. Our slim and best. I will lead the way. In the event we are seen, here to fight them off. Those two were followers, provided they can refrain from drawing their weapons. While I doubt they'd be foolish enough to stab the guy in the back, I will not take that chance. That said, let us proceed. Jotun. 
It's the toaster from Destiny 2. It's a really good exotic, actually. The fact that it still has potency, 460 is not bad. You didn't do anything, bro. You can see why your comrades chose you. Julius, our contingent, as a cure for the afflictor tempered, as we call them, your people need to be taken into custody that we administer the treatment, but they would eventually regain their sanity. That's so far, I know your treatment would simply force them to forsake their master, one master for another. As far as I am a legion are concerned, they are no longer a people. They are beyond saving. Those who thought differently and tried to reason with them were butchered uh, for their bleeding hearts. Come, we have to keep moving. Star Rock. Rip Train. No, no, I'm sure Garlemo doesn't know anything about that. I'm sure Garlemo doesn't know anything about that stream. Fine. Looks like we're not being followed. We'll continue onwards. The rock, like Abigail from Stardew. I don't actually know that reference. St stupid flowers. We're on... Still on 82. Okay. Horse. I saw that. When I said these people deserve only death, I stayed my hand before, only out of a desire to remain undiscovered. I mean, that's still the higher priority. We should still continue to avoid any necessary confrontations. Keep following the railway. This tail will go. Oh my god, please. Saiga? Like the shotgun? Is that a Saiga 12? Dear. Gift gemstones and she'd imply she's eating. Oh my god, please. That's amazing. Eat the rock. What? Eat the rock. Did I actually go the long way around? Yes, I did. Right out smart the game. Still went the wrong way. must eat rock. It's good in fiber. It's not how that works. Ooh, these are rough. These are the first like, transformed ones we've really seen.
what could they become? Would you stand, uh, still stand there and claim that they can be cured? Those exposed to a vast quantity of primal's ether may suffer severe corruption. Even with treatment, such victims are beyond salvation. In a minute, now that you've seen these monstrosities, shall perhaps you'll think twice before speaking of a cure. Do not eat rocks. Do not eat rocks. Am I just missing an ether right here? Oh, this probably happens later then. I like that they're MSQ blocking these. I do. I, I do like it. I think that that's super relevant. This man just showed up on a fat cat. What do I make of this? I don't know, Julius. You tell me. Almost there. You have to keep your side of the agreement, so I'll keep mine this way. Slippery slope. <laughs> That was, that was an ice pun. I saw that. This is Tridium, one of the Garmel's largest stations now serves as our headquarters. I already sent the twins ahead. I'll be with you soon, so wait for me at the bottom of the stairs. Oh, I guess there were stairs in... Or what? What? Oh, it's one of those that it's going to show me that it goes, goes that way. King Julian! <laughs> Lions Raid song now. Do it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's underneath. It makes sense if you're not a dingus. All I'm saying. Oh, hey, it's New York subway. <laughs> so the expansive structure is built underground. Cure these guys. I mean, you can't cure anybody. Yes, exactly. Julius 2024. to see why they chose this as their base of operations. They could have done a lot worse, even so. I mean, it's not the easiest place to live. And even if Julius was willing to take us to the Paris Trinity camp, broken glass in search of food, their own supplies must be all but exhausted. Maybe shielded from the wind and snow, but it's still bitterly cold, much like Victor's spoils. It must be in constant way to keep these people warm. Lower your voices. While you're here as my guest, the others will not take kindly to your presence. Commanders in the locomotive over there. <laughs> it's gonna be payday. Drop the money bags on the table. <laughs> yes. But don't act dumb. Intensifies. These are their chosen representatives. Very well. Let us hear what they have to say. Yes, sir. He, he do got them big shoulder pads. He do got that wow aesthetic going on. Honestly, <laughs> I'm going to go stand in my corner. That was I such a... I you, our commander. Anticlimactic. I feel we've seen this person before, potentially. Lord Quintus Van Kena. Legatus of the First Legion. No, we haven't seen him yet. Okay. The First? I had no idea you had survived. So about your Legion. We lost our Emperor, our city, more than half our troops. For my wounds, I may never take the field again. But we survived, I. In a manner much to your liking, I dare say. 
we have no intention of adding to your misfortunes, nor do we bear you any ill will. Spare me, though you children may speak in earnest. Overtures of peace ever ring hollow in my ears. So long as man stands to profit from his neighbor's suffering, war is inevitable. Because they do see us as the invaders. Driven from our ancestral homeland into this blasted waste. Yet still you yearned to rob us of our paltry scraps. It was only with Magitek that you learned to keep your distance. Though we knew it was only a matter of time before you regrouped and returned. Conquest and Empire were our only defenses. Emperors Solus and Varys understood this, and through their campaigns saw us grow and prosper. Much blood has been spilled in Garlemald's name, aye. But if it is a choice between yours and mine, then it is hardly a choice at all. I do not deny that a great many conflicts throughout history were driven by the desire or necessity to gain by another's loss. That is not why we are here. Nor have we come to petition your aid in the war with the Telophoroi, grave though that threat may be. Our purpose is simply this. We wish to help you. Let us help you. If there is aught that can be done to ease your plight, we would be glad to do it. Perhaps you would. Or... But regardless of the ideals you espouse, your leaders would not send an army into Garlemald if they did not stand to benefit. If we accept their aid, they will expect their efforts to be rewarded once the Telophoroi are no longer a threat. He does bring up a good point, though. He, he brings up a valid After point. After compensation and concessions, the great empire would be brought to heel. Her enemies rejoice at her downfall. Our third eye. A mark of shame. We won't stand idly by and let your people be humiliated. And we're not alone in that. We only want to make a difference. To make this world of ours better. Surely you can understand that. What I'm trying to say is, there are so, so many people who just don't care about making you suffer. And maybe that's almost insulting after all the suffering you feel the world has subjected your people to, but... Believe it or not, that's the truth. And now we're here, and all we're asking is for you to tell us what you want, what you hope for. So much blood has been shed, so much lost, all because of this endless war. Who wouldn't want to end it? Can we not work together to face our problems as one? Answer me this, young peacemakers. If a world without conflict is your desire, why reject the unity and prosperity of Garlemald? Because of what Garlemald has submitted the lower caste system to? Like, we, we can... I, there's, there's a paper on this. Is it because we do not share your faith? Nah, because... Like, a number of reasons. Like, that's not... I understand what you're playing at. I do. A number of valid reasons and beating of civilians. That we do not share your heritage? That our ideals and virtues differ. That we cherish and hold in the highest that which you do not. Disparity is the root of discord. And peace built on compromise is flawed and fleeting. Happiness for one and all is a dream. And the reality is that to the victor go the spoils. And that is why you will fail. That is why we Garlians will never submit nor surrender. For freedom and for pride, we will remain true to ourselves until the bitter end. That is my hope. It seems there is nothing more to say on the matter.
You're gonna execute us. Yep. You will remain here while I decide what is to be done no. with you. Mm -hmm. Do not be alarmed. No harm will come to you if you cooperate. Bold of you. <laughs> Bold of y'all to say that while you're in striking distance within my within my my scythe. <laughs> Oh, come on. We will not resist. However, as your guests, I ask that we be allowed to speak with the other members of your group. As you wish. I had no intention of locking you up, as by dawn you would be frozen stiff and you're no good to me dead. You are free to move about the encampment, but there is one condition. Collar them. Not collars. This is why people don't trust. <laughs> why why not submit to Garlemald, right? This. Because you do this so readily. Because this is what you default to. What are these? Incentive. You'll be watched at all times. Stray too far or act suspiciously, and we will administer a rather painful shock. Stop. Keep away from that one. Uh, no. No, you're going to follow through with that. Come on now. The champion of Eorzea is not so easily cowed. Son of a bitch. Someone told him. I always seems able to deduce it fairly easily. Even if she allowed herself to be collared, the shock would be no more than an itch. No. If she refuses to obey, we will activate the twins' restraints instead. Which is incentive. You needn't worry about us. We'll forget we're even wearing them soon enough. Even now, you still... <sighs> Why go to such lengths? What is it all for? <laughs> you are a curious one. A far cry from the merciless barbarian others paint you to be. I don't know, it's because I don't have my warrior axe on. <laughs> Probably you will why. Be their warden. Take them away. Yes, sir. What are we splitting to? What's that's the intermission? Ah, oh, no intermission. Travels to deter us compared to what the most people suffer these days, cause their minor inconvenience. As per Lord Quintus' instructions, I am uh, to supervise you during your time here in Thridium. Before you asked, no, I do not have a key or any enemies to remove your collars, nor would I tell you if I did. And if you try anything, you'll sooner wish you hadn't. To speak with the others, or was that merely a ruse? No hurt. Uh, we're in no hurry to disobey Lord Quintus, if that's what you mean, or perhaps you doubt our wisdom and his decision. Do as you'll remember, I'll be watching. If I catch wind of you doing anything untoward, uh, trying to trick people into turning coats and the like, the shot cars will be the test. At least your worries understood. Though we're somewhat compromised, to put it lightly, let's not waste this opportunity as just splitting up and learning what we can. Situations above all, we use magics of any short. On the other hand, may go over so you wish, even outside the camp. I know full well I couldn't stop you if I tried. Do not forget and don't do anything to danger us or the interest Alpha and Alice will pay the price. Came with Julius, didn't you? Well, whatever business brought you here, you best keep your hands off the etherite. It's deactivated. 
but I thought you didn't mess about with it. There are others throughout the city, but my guardians, four guardians, could teleport all over the blink of an eye, provided there was a terminal nearby. These guys, however, use the Etherite's power to keep the place lit. The cost of its normal function. I like that. In cool in store lore reason. Uh, in, uh, in lore story reason for that. Wow! Holy crap! Hi. What? What? What's happening? That's a lot of pictures. Are you sure? You don't have to. I appreciate it, unless don't get me wrong. You don't have to. If you're sure. I will have to hang those up later. I do appreciate that, though. Ah, egg. <laughs> oh, I'm all good. <laughs> I appreciate the blamphorisms, though. I totally probably get more at some point. I appreciate that. Create the Hildebrand Shrine. I will do that. I was hoping to get an apartment at some point during Dawn Trail. I don't know. I'd have to see what the for that is mckildebrand shrine oh it's you certain lord gaius and the 14th legion i was there at the night of the praetorium fell you and the other adventurers killed them my comrades my friends put them aside dozens as though they were nothing to you and maybe i am too just another faceless enemy to cut down but it won't be long until our countrymen return to get what you deserve mark my words rough so cold I was on the verge of losing consciousness It is the same model as the one used in the Victor Spoils. Perhaps it is just save the soldier from being tempered. Then I hear the so called champion areas that come to gloat, have you? Work off your face with the blood of our fallen compatriots, I swear I'll ugh. I'm toward the, uh, toward the sutures. Rough. Oh, that's a rough feeling. All the times. Um, worse a lot within striking distance, I can't even muster the strength. Or for my, uh, weren't for the third bleeding us would be the end of you. Regilla's treachery nearly cost us Lord Quintus his life, but made our escape. Took shelter in a mansion, tended to the wounded. We prepared to strike back, and then night fell, and we were gathered about the radio. And the roar, that terrible roar, of the capital was in chaos. We were spared. All this a mercy, mind intact, but body broken. A soldier in name alone. Now where you stand, if I could, murderer. Yeah. As it turns out, there were uh. Not exactly the most liked. Learn anything of note? And your findings exist with my own. Their plight is desperate indeed. Sick and injured are at the greatest risk without warmth and proper intuition. I fear they'll soon perish. I realize there's precious we can do for them at the present, but I cannot bear to see them suffer. Please help tend to them. You always use more, <laughs> right? Their eyes, I uh, can't see all that well. Thank you, the numbness subsided a little. No, it won't last much longer. Look at the others who can still fight. Give them my ration. Me going hungry means someone else lives to see another day, so be it. So I can serve that way. What a Chad. Dude goes way too hard. Says so you might fare no better. I was afraid you would say that. And we were warned against meddling in their affairs that we can't leave them like this. Perhaps we might gain permission to have Vengeant deliver supplies. DS may have made his feelings on the matter quite clear, but even he must recognize there's no position to refuse help. Let's persuade him. We need to persuade Julius first. <laughs> well, seen enough. Those people have barely enough food and fuel to survive. Have you and the other soldiers been able to procure any more supplies? We've been scavenging provisions for the nearby houses as most families kept uh, keep kept rather stored away in the event that they were snowed in. Going in and out is dangerous work and we have a lot of mouths to feed. Mmm, barrel fire. Fuel is a greater concern though. We've had some ceruleum set aside until it was stolen. Haven't identified the culprit. Couldn't have been... Uh, been the other refugees or one of the afflicted for all we know. Either way, 
We're down to the last dregs without the heating they need. And those poor in health are only going to get worse instead of better. It's the room we need. Our continuing to secure a ready supply. We can have some sent over. We will not accept your charity. If we can hold on a little longer. The situation is sure to change. I everything will change. Oh my god. Yep, people are like this. Or something of it have you. Well, from what I've seen, there's little you can do to interfere, so there's no harm in telling you. One of our scouts spotted a hooded man issuing instructions to the afflicted. Bastards were its loyal servant, so to Leferoy. Then he made his way inside the Imperial Palace, or what stands in its place. To identify the seal of the enemy's a seat of enemy's power, we realized Lord Quintus dispatched a messenger of the Tenth Legion, saying as much, and instructed them to join forces and with the Provincial Legions to prepare for a combined assault on the Teleferoi. Once our allies arrived, your contingent will be sent running to the hills. We'll surely reclaim the capital by our own hand. How do you intend to survive in the meantime? At this rate, many of your countrymen will perish long before the reinforcements reach Garlemald. They need help now. Say their word and we we'll bring you Ceruleum. Is, is he going to break through? Is, is he going to break through the, uh, the propaganda? Is he going to self-actualize? Come on, man. I will speak with Lord Clinches. That's better than... It's better. So, did he agree to it? No. No, he will not place Garlemald in the debt of his enemies. I have, however, been ordered to search for Cerulean outside. You are under my watch. You will come with me. Very well. After all, many hands make light work. There are a lot more trouble than you're worth. If you're outside, you will follow my instructions to the letter we depart shortly. curious how this is going to play out actually i'm very very curious on that point